In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get up and running with Google Voice. As with all of my videos, do remember to pause and rewind if you need to, and it's always good to follow along on your own account, pause the video, try some things out, and then come back to the video when you're ready. So without further ado, let's get started. To use Google Voice, we need to go to voice.google.com. And before we actually log in, I'm going to click this green Get Google Voice button in a minute. Uh, we can kind of scroll down because I want to talk about, uh, just for a second, what Google Voice actually does for us. So Google Voice gives us a free phone number that we can use from any device that's connected to the internet. So we actually don't even have to have a cellular plan with a company like Verizon or AT&T or whatever, whoever you use. You can just have your phone connect to Wi-Fi and use Google Voice. Uh, it allows you to stay a little more organized. You can actually forward calls that go to your Google Voice number to any phone that you'd like. And then you can also see transcripts of your voicemail messages. So you can actually read them if you don't want to just listen to them. And you can see talks about the forwarding calls that I mentioned. So let's get started with Google Voice. So we're going to go back up here to the top. And I'm just going to click on Get Google Voice. And you'll notice that Google Voice is available for Android, iOS, or web. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the web version of Google Voice. We're going to get an account set up. We're going to create a phone number, all that sort of thing. But if you'd like to see a specific video for Android or iOS, please let me know in the comments section of this video on YouTube, and I'll try and get that video out for you. But for now, I'm just going to click on Web. And we do need to sign in with a Google account to access Google Voice. So you can either create a new account, or you can just log in with one that you already have. So I already have one, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, so we do need to accept Google's terms of service and privacy policy to use Google Voice. So I'm going to click continue. So now we can start looking for a Google Voice number. Google does now require you to choose a Google Voice number that is affiliated with your location when you set up Google Voice. So I'm in California right now, so you can see I have some different options, Compton, Norwalk, Downey. I could click on one of these options and it will show me available numbers. I could always click show more. Alternatively, I could start entering a number. So say I enter uh, 424529. It will start showing me numbers that are available. So I can choose 0320 if I want. I can choose the 20280. I could also enter some more. So I could enter 03, and it will try and show me any numbers that are available that start with 424529 So in this way, you can try and find a number that you like. And then when you're ready, you can just click on select. All right, so I've selected the number, and now I can just click on Verify, and it will ask me for my existing phone number. This is going to help us for uh, call forwarding. So I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, because I'm going to try and use another Google Voice number, and I've never done that before. But let's see if it will accept it as my other phone number. So this would be my work number. It is Google Voice number. We're going to click on Send Code, and there you go. See, it can't use a Google Voice number. That was a good test, though. So I am going to enter a different phone number here, and it's probably going to be blanked out for you guys. Okay, so now that I've entered a real phone number, I just got a text on my phone, and I'm going to enter the code that Google sent me. And click Verify. Do notice that with this pop-up, it's telling me that my phone number can only be connected to one Google Voice number at a time. So it's going to remove my connection with my other account. So uh, do be aware of that, that you can only set up forwarding from one Google Voice number to your phone. Uh, you could have multiple phones that you forward the same number to, but you can't have multiple Google Voice numbers to the same device. But I'm going to go ahead and do that for now, and I'll undo that later on. So I'm going to click Claim. And then you'll see that it says it's finished. So I'm going to click Finish. And now we're going to be brought into Google Voice. We just click Finish here as well. And we'll close this out. So here we are in Google Voice. Let's start by taking a look at a little bit of the user interface of Google Voice. If we take a look at the left side of our screen, we have a few different sections. The first section, the one that we're on by default, is the Calls section. And this is where we could make a phone call right from our computer. So I can just click on Make a Call. And then I could go ahead and type a name if I have the person in my Google Contacts already. Or I could go ahead and enter a phone number. So let's just go ahead and make a phone call just to prove that it works here. Ah, and this is a good little tip. You can't have a pop-up blocker enabled, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for this website. And we'll try that again. Because I'm calling in the United States, it's a free call. You can see it has started. 
I have to give it access to my microphone, obviously. And there you have it, my phone ringing. So, let's go ahead and screen this call. This is actually a really nice feature of Google Voice. What I did on my phone was I hit screen call. It's kind of a good way to filter out potential spam calls. You don't actually have to answer, uh, but you can kind of put up that little wall, that guard, and I think that has definitely helped in them calling me less frequently because they kind of get this weird screening call from Google Voice. So that's another great feature of Google Voice. So you can see we just made a phone call, and I actually use Google Voice internationally when I'm traveling if I'm not paying for a data plan abroad. As I mentioned, you can use Google Voice on Wi-Fi, and you can make international calls. I think some of the calls that I make you know, from Europe and stuff are like two cents a minute to the United States or four cents a minute from the United States to Singapore. So it's a really, really cheap option. I mean, that almost it's almost free, uh, but you do have to pay a little bit. So you have to have a card on file when you make those international calls, but it's a great thing to use when you're traveling. Let's go back over here to the left side and take a look at the next area we have. We have the messages area. If I click on that, this is where we can send messages. So this would just be like a text message. So I could click on send a message and I could enter the phone number that I want to send a message to. And then I can type my message down here. I can add images if I'd like. Uh, so it's kind of like using iMessage if you've ever used that in the Apple ecosystem. The next icon down is the universal symbol for our voicemail. And you'll notice that because we have a number one there, it means we have a new voicemail. What's that? I just set this up. Oh, it's Google's welcome voicemail. So here it is. If I click on it, you'll notice that we have a text transcript of the voicemail in the front of our screen. So we could just read it. Or I could click on the play button. And you'll hear the Google Voice welcome message. So that is where our voicemails are located. Now if we go back over to the left side of our screen, you'll notice that we also have three little dots here at the bottom. And if we click on that, we're presented with a number of different options. So we can still access our calls, messages, or our voicemail. But now we can also interact with the messages that we're currently looking at. So I could archive this voicemail. I could mark it as spam, so that number would then be screened in the future when they call my Google Voice number. I could mark all of my voicemails as read. Here where it says credit is where I could add credits to my account, so that's when you can add credits to make those international calls. And then you've got your settings down here at the bottom, which we're going to look at in a minute. But I also want to show you that uh, alternatively, instead of clicking on these three little dots, we also could have clicked on this three little lines at the top. It's called main menu. I don't know why they just repeat the same action, but it, either of those buttons gets you here. Notice also that we could access legacy Google Voice. Uh, there was kind of a, a bit of a, a, an issue when they upgraded their Google Voice system. And for people to access their messages that were left before the new Google Voice, they had to go back to the legacy version. So if you're just starting with Google Voice now, I wouldn't worry about legacy Google Voice. Uh, but it is good for those users who need to retrieve some information from their old Google Voice accounts. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at our Google Voice settings. First of all, Google Voice wants access to a microphone. If we're going to be making calls, we need to give them access. So that's up to you, but we'll go ahead and we'll give them access for now. There is a lot of great information here in the Google Voice settings. Um, so you'll notice right off the bat, we can see our Google Voice phone number. We could change it if we wanted to. We could transfer it to a different Google account, or we could delete it. Down here where this is blanked out, you can see the phone number that it's currently linked to. So any calls to my Google Voice number will forward to phone one here. And I could also add additional numbers that I'd like to receive forwarded calls from this Google Voice number. Also notice that messages are currently being forwarded to the one phone number I have added. And then we can see what email my messages are being forwarded to. We scroll down, we have some more information here. Here's our option to screen calls that's turned on automatically. So if you access Google Voice through the iOS or Android app and you get a phone call from a number that Google thinks is spam, you'll have the option to screen it. And there are a number of different options in here. I'll let you kind of look through on your own time uh, for some of these if you'd like. You can change your voicemail greeting here or you can just use Google's default greeting. If you'd like to use your own, you can click on the record a greeting button. Scrolling down, we can choose our audio and speaker devices if we're using Google Voice for the computer. Got some payment information, uh, so you could add credits from here. You could look at your billing history, all that good stuff. And actually, one thing I'd like to mention is that it looks like there's a whole bunch of different areas over here on the left of Google Voice. But actually, as we scroll down here, we actually go to all these areas. So messages is right here, calls is right here. So a few confusing things in the Google Voice user interface. 
uh, but it's definitely a very useful system. I also want to mention, go back to my call here just to get back to the screen, notice that there is a search up here at the top. So you could search for phone numbers that have called you, or you could search actually for your voicemail messages. So you could search and it will actually search the transcript of your messages to try and find a particular voicemail. So those are all of the primary features of using Google Voice, how to set up and get a free number. Remember, download the iOS or Android app, and you can make international calls for like four cents a minute. You can make free domestic calls when you're on Wi-Fi. If you'd like to see a tutorial specific for iOS or Android, remember, let me know in the comments section of this video here on YouTube, and I'll try and get that up for you. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.